Hi guys. Uh, whoa, oh my gosh, okay. How are you guys doing today? You guys enjoying all the talks? Uh, we want to thank you so much for having us. I'm Mercedes. I'm Phoenix. And like they said, we both play in the band Courage My Love. And we're going to talk to you today about creative and reflective thinking from a musician's standpoint. Now, what is creative and reflective thinking from a musician's point of view? To Phoenix and me, the creative part comes in not only when we're writing the songs, we have to put our heart and our personality in the lyrics, but also when we're performing the songs for everybody. We have to try and have dynamics, we have to try and have emotion, we want to be... Basically, our goal is to tell a story with every performance that we do on stage. We want our audience to feel different after they've seen us than they did before they saw us on stage. Uh, the reflective side, that kind of comes in more when we're practicing songs and getting a set ready before a show. So I'll just give an example really quick. Uh, a young kid goes over to a hot stove and touches it and get a, gets a burn. And then because he got burned, he knows not to touch the hot stove again. That's exactly what it's like for us when we're practicing before a show. We play the song. Sure, maybe the first time there's a couple mistakes, but then the more we go through it, we learn from those mistakes and we use reflective thinking to not make them again and put on a really good show. Both are really important for a live show because as performers, the live aspect of every show is pretty much the most important part of our job. So just to demonstrate that, we have two clips for you that we're going to play and we think they both demonstrate both creative and reflective thinking. These are our songs, so hope you enjoy them. Here's the first clip. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> So that was the first clip. Uh, before we get too into it, we're going to play you clip number two. So if we can get clip number two going, that'd be great. I promise this has a point. How did you guys feel after you heard those two clips? Did one clip affect you more than the other clip? Did you enjoy one clip better than the other clip? Did you identify better with a certain clip? My point is that our perception of certain events, like we all perceive life differently, we all experience life differently, and our perception of certain events is affected by our experience. Did you guys even notice that both those clips were the same song, just two different versions of the same song? Like, uh, let's, for example, let's say you were at a show, and uh, it's a band that you love their music, your friends have told you that their live show is phenomenal, that it's amazing, and uh, you go to the show, and it turns out that the person beside you is really loud and obnoxious, and you can't focus on the music, or you're so far away that you can't see what's happening on stage, or, you know, the sound is just not that good and you can't really see what's going on. That affects your perception of the show and that your experience will not be the same as someone who has front row seats and can hear and see everything perfectly. So, so that, that being said, reflective and creative thinking, it's important from an audience member's perspective, but also from a performer's perspective, from our perspective. And when we use it, it's kind of like what I was saying before, we use it in our performance to you know, be emotional and take you guys on a journey and a magical mystery ride. But also, we need it when we're practicing before so that we can actually pull it off when we're not sloppy. So we're just going to do some examples really quick. Sadie's is going to sing 
eight bars of Amazing Grace. You guys probably know that song. And um, she's going to sing it using mainly reflective thinking, and we'll see how it sounds. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. So, what did you guys think of her performance there? It was okay, right? It wasn't... Thank you. <laughs> um, it was okay. You know, her notes were on tune, rhythm was alright, but would you want to sit through an hour of that at a show? Kind Probably of boring. Not. Yeah. It, it's mostly because she didn't really tell a story. Her dynamics were pretty flat. So, what we want is just to take you guys and really make you feel the music. I wasn't telling a story. I wasn't... I wasn't tapping into the lyrics. The lyrics me have a lot of meaning and I could have been singing about anything and may as well have been just a robot performing. So I should have been a little more emotive, should have shown a little more emotion and try to tell you guys a story so you're not bored in your seats watching you know, me just singing random lyrics. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to try it again. Same eight bars, same song. Uh, but she's going to try and come at it from a more creative thinking perspective. So we'll see how it sounds. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that hath saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. So, same thing, right? Her performance was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Her performance was pretty good. M definitely more dynamic. But it was just too all over the place. Like, did you guys really get a story out of it? Or were you just kind of... It was more like a wall what, of sound coming what out What kind you? of story was I... I sounded like a crazy person. Like, kind of. I, it sounded like there was a few different personalities going on in there. Like, there's too many highs, too many lows. And no matter what kind of emotion I'm trying to portray, it just comes across as crazy and uh, you yeah, can't really get the funny out of it. So that's what we're saying right now. We need both reflective thinking and creative thinking. We need that balance so that it comes across, it's well rehearsed, but it's not just crazy ups and downs. We need you guys to actually get into it. So we're going to try it one more time, same eight bars. You're going to do a performance using both reflective thinking and creative thinking. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that hath saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found, was blind, but now <laughs> so that time, definitely way more, you know, way more solid. That was the only reason why I could actually jump in was because I knew she wasn't going to Yeah, like do a not rehearsed solo. at all. She just jumps yeah. in. <laughs> so, I don't rehearse that, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, like, actually. <laughs> but also, she was very creative and emotional, and you guys probably got a really good story out of the lyrics from that, right? Because it was just emotional, but not too all over the place. I was tapping into the lyrics, trying to emote, trying to put my persona personality into it, but use my technical side to back me up so I didn't sound totally crazy. So that's what Phoenix and I try to do for every live show. And uh, we just try and tell a story, take our audience out of their seats, you know, take them away from whatever it is going on in their lives right now because we want them to not to feel like they're watching a show. We want them to really feel emotional when they see our shows. and. Uh, we believe, we've always been believers, that one amazing show can totally change someone's life forever. Or maybe even the world forever. We know because it's happened to us. Like We've seen so many totally inspiring shows that have helped us believe that that's, this is what we want to do for the rest of our lives. We just want to be musicians and we want to 
make that same change for other people, whoever's watching us. And uh, we've gotten a few uh, letters from fans over the years. I'm going to read an excerpt from one. I have dozens of these at home, so <laughs> I just picked one out of the pile. Um, but this is one that I think it really inspired us, and uh, I think it'll show you what I mean. This is a girl who saw us at Warp Tour. When I got home, I put your CD on. Your music got me through my first night self-harm free in months, and it has continued to help me ever since. So let's take a minute and just think about that. Self-harm free, the first night self-harm free in months. So this is a girl who, a teenage girl, she's depressed, maybe even suicidal, and just from seeing one of our shows, maybe even listening to one of our songs, it helped her and it, it changed her and that's what we want to try to do for, that's the power of music, that's that, what we want to try and do for it's every actually, show. Exactly, you guys probably saw the talk earlier, the impossible one. Um, it's like that, you'd think that changing a girl's perspective on life and just making her feel happy again, a girl that's depressed and hurting herself, you'd think that might be impossible, but it's not. She just needed a push, and that's what, whether it's in music, if you guys are interested in music, or if you're interested in science, or whatever else you guys are passionate about, you need to be that push for other people, and you need to try and change people. That's what we try and do, and no matter what it is, you guys just take your passions and take your knowledge and try and do, and do what you can for You never people. know who it's going to affect in the end. So thank you guys so much for having us today. We really, really enjoyed being here, and uh, we're going to perform... Uh, some of our songs for you right now. It's gonna get set up, I think. Yeah, we may only have time for one. But uh, thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys t keep in mind what we were talking about earlier when listening to these songs and try and listen for the creative and reflective aspect in the songs, okay? Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you. This is the first time I've done a performance with a lapel mic. I feel kind of like Britney Spears, a little bit. <laughs> I should be getting up and like dancing, this would be amazing. <laughs> but you guys don't want to see that, trust me. <laughs> I've seen it, it's not Possible as possible, PD. <laughs> not for you. <laughs> okay. This first song we're going to be performing uh, is about following your dreams and following your passions. It's called The River.
back up Cause now I know I know you'll swear That you still have faith in me You'll be surprised When this river leads into the sea Thank you guys. Thanks so much.